Anyways, so Flavor of India is really special. Uh, and it's it's different. It's different than the go in, get a menu, order from the menu kind of experience. Your best bet is to just go in and, you know, let Anila feed you amazing food. And Rose Ice Cream, which is the best ice cream I've ever had in my life. They don't always rose have it. Ice cream. Rose Ice Cream. Essence of Rose. Wow. It's so good. And then um, Spinach Cake which is insane. In fact, oh. I went there I went there once and her landlord had given her like a whole bunch of spinach. And she was like, what am I going to do with all the spinach? I have to use this spinach. Yeah. And so she created this spinach starter, which is delicious. And she, they, they serve it regularly now. It's fabulous. And then they had a sag paneer, palak paneer, which is- Oh, uh, one, one Cheese again. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese, yes. Yeah. That is one of my absolute favorite Indian dishes is sag paneer, palak paneer. Yeah, yeah, same uh, here. Yeah, it's like a, a spinach, but it with this homemade cheese, and it's it's it doesn't sound yummy, but it, it doesn't even look yummy, but it's ridiculous, it's super good. Mm. And then um, and then she also made spinach cake, and it's fabulous. So like I can't even describe. I don't even know where she came from, but she works so hard and she's so sweet and they're the nicest people. They all work so hard and um, really they're just fabulous. And they're just up the, a little hill from La Vie and from the park and absolutely go there, make reservations. And it was really special. And I got to have my 51st birthday, October 2nd. Little did I know it was like D-Day with the whole NHR crap, but um, <laughs> it was yeah. my birthday. It was a really special birthday this year. It was, was wasn't it? Clearly, it actually, remember. October has been a complete and utter. I can't say it on your show, but why don't we call it? We, why don't we? I don't think anyone's done this yet, Heather. Should we call it NHR Mageddon? NHR Mageddon. That's good. Yes. That's good. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. So, so stick to flavors of India. Great gin and tonics, great everything, and there you go. That's so. I'm a five star review, definitely for for flavor of India. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's there's so lovely. It is so yeah. beautiful. It, it, it looks beautiful. It, clearly, it tastes beautiful. And what I picked up on there is you get to eat what's seasonal and what she can lay her hands on. And is that how it works? You have to eat what's been cooked that day. It's not on, you know one of these. Well, no, she she has she has a menu. But yeah. it's, um, I found that you, you know, if you put your faith in Anila, you, you will have things you maybe wouldn't have ordered, but they're delightful and delicious. Like that's a cauliflower that thing you just had. And yeah. I don't even like cauliflower and like, it's delicious. You know what I, I mean? And so, I can't oh, that's, have a video. This is ridiculous. I have, uh, this looks beautiful. That is okay. Go back to that picture. That's the spinach starter. With the cheese at the top. See, it has cheese on it. <laughs> that, what, what, the one that we're looking at there? No, like the one know. before or one back, I think. Yeah, so the in the green yes. dish. Yes. Uh, yeah, that one. In the green dish up, that yes. ha is uh, the spinach starter. It's really, really, really good. So Okay. Now, I wanted, yeah. I, the reason I was, I was dwelling on this one. Yeah. For on trip advice. Thank you, everybody, who put That's this trip advice and review together because there's some lovely photos here. That is a really good in interpretation of the Portuguese classic of the uh, terracotta with the aguardente in it that flames around your chorizo. And who doesn't like to have flames around their chorizo from time ah, to time? Ah, right. Okay. But she's, she's singeing her bargees in that, I think, isn't she, so to speak? I have no idea, but everything she does, she does Southern Indian. Right. And it's flavorful. It's not hot. That's another thing. It's uh, got beautiful spice to it, but it's yeah. not your traditional, like, I want it spicy. Now, they serve peppers on the side that so you can uh, make it spicy or whatnot. But that's good to know because a lot of people that are sensitive to spice just automatically think that they hate Indian food or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right. Well, this is, Sarah, an this is an education, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, There's really. Sarah saying she hasn't done Flavors of India. So right. that sounds well, like yeah. a thing. We can, Maybe we can get you and, and Mrs. M... What a great uh, idea. Is, is that the rose ice cream there? Yes, that's the rose ice cream. Cream. Oh my gosh, it's so good. 
<laughs> yeah, but Sarah and, and oh, Daniel with the great. Oh, there's the. You're love, making me love, hungry. Yeah. yeah, me too. I shouldn't have. I every. I always Butters, do this. Chicken. I, I start talking chicken. about food and then wish I hadn't because it's making me so blooming uh, hungry here. Sagalu. Mmm. Says Sagalu. by hand. Okay. Yeah, Jeez, that makes me. Mean. Sorry. Who knew this morning that we would be t turning down the the into the roads of cheese and curry here. Go when on, you then. talk to me, you never know where it's going to go because I never know where it's going to go. So there you go. But well okay, done so us. Well done us for remembering what we were going to talk about and not moving on into loads of other subjects. Awaiting our invite, says Sarah. So that could also be a bit of a, a gumper out.